Hello everyone, Chairman Sin here. Today I'm making a quick video on how to protect your Apache servers uh, by removing version signatures and server info. Uh, this is this video is a supplement to my blog post available on my website, shamancini.com. So uh, in my blog post, I'm talking about uh, some of the information that gets leaked by default on a um, Apache installation uh, and uh, how to fix that. So we'll see this in practice. I just have a basic uh, Ubuntu uh, server with Apache installed uh, and everything is default. So if I browse to the site, I get the Apache default page. Um, now let's hit F12 to get to developer options and go over to network. I'm using Firefox for this, um, but the, the same goes for Chrome or IE, whatever you're using. Now, Click the reload to perform a new request and go to the main uh, file, the root file. And let's look at some of the response headers that show up. The one that we're interested in the most is Apache uh, version 2.4.38 in this case and running on Ubuntu. So we don't want this information being leaked uh, to, to the internet because um, it can be used. It, it can be used against you uh, by an attacker. Uh, say, for instance, there is a newly discovered exploit for version two point four point thirty eight. It would be pretty simple to start scanning sites, looking at the response headers, and then uh, using the given uh, exploit against the site. Now, obviously, it's not that easy in practice, right? Um, it still requires a whole bunch of other things, but it's information that we're leaking that we can otherwise not and, um, you know, add that one extra layer of security. So um, to actually fix this is really simple. In Ubuntu CentOS, which, whichever one you're using, go over to the Apache configuration file. So in Ubuntu slash um, Debian, that's under ETC Apache 2, and go over to apache2.conf. In uh, CentOS, it's Etsy, uh, HTTPD, conf, and then httpd.conf. So scroll to the bottom of the apache2.conf file, and we are going to add the following two lines that I have listed in my blog post. I'll also put it in the description below. Um, and so the, we're going to be setting server signature off and server tokens as prod. Okay. Add that. And now once you've added the configurations, let's restart Apache. Okay, now go back to the site, refresh. Look at that main that main file there. And let's look at server. Now we just simply say server Apache. It doesn't show the version, it doesn't show the OS, it doesn't show anything other than that it's running an Apache web server. Which is okay because you know, there's only a few, uh, a few widely used uh, web servers, IIS or Apache or NGINX. So uh, that that part doesn't really matter that we're kind of leaking that out. But um, the the version specific details and stuff like that are are left obscured. So it's a quick tidbit, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit my website, shawmancini.com. Talk to you later. Thank you.